This turns out to be a big problem for real nuclear reactors. This was one of the first reactors that was ever built. This was the Hanford reactor. They turned it on and everything seemed to be going. And after about a day or two of running it, all of a sudden the power went and dropped, like almost to zero. And they left it alone. And after about you know, 12, 18 hours, all of a sudden it went and it came back up to power again and it held there. And I, what? And then pretty soon it goes, pew, and it drops off again. They're going, this makes no sense. We're not doing anything. The thing's like turning on and it's turning off and it's turning on and it's turning off. Well, what was going on was the reactor would turn on and xenon-135 would begin to build up. And as it built up, it would start eating all those neutrons, right? And then it would, and it would take the reactor back down again. And then after a while, it would decay away. And once it decayed away, the reactor would come back on again. So it was following this up and down effect. Just crazy. I mean, these guys didn't even know what xenon-135 was because this was like one of the first nuclear reactors ever built. This actually was a contributing effect to the Chernobyl disaster was the presence of, of xenon-135.